Hello everyone, Danny here, web designer and founder of Wondersource Creative. And so today I'm going to show you how to add a button to your navigation bar, just like this one right here. So this is a super easy hack if you're wanting to highlight, you know, one of the pages on your on your navigation menu. And what a better way to highlight a page than by adding a button, right? So this is a super easy, super quick hack. And you're honestly just going to be mind blown at how easy it is. So let's get started. So we're going to start by going to our pages section. And so here, the first thing that you have to do is decide, you know, what page do you want to highlight? What page do you want to feature in this button? And so let's say that my services page, you know, is really important and I want it to stand out from all the others, right? So what I would do is I would, you know, since I have the services page under the primary navigation, what I now have to do is just drag it under the secondary navigation. And so let's say that you want to add an, a page to the secondary navigation and you would just click the plus icon and then create a, a page and just have it here. And so now that we know that we want to make this into a button, we're going to go to home and then we're going to go to design and then site styles because now we just need to style this page right here. And so to make it easier and faster, we're just going to click services. And so the site styles is going to bring all the styles um, of the secondary navigation. And so here, if you if you check this, then it's going to have the same styles and the same font and the same everything as of your uh, primary navigation. But we want to make it different. That's why we need to uncheck this. And so now we're going to click on style and then we're going to make this a button. And that's how easy it is. But now we just need to style it. That way it looks good. And so I know that I want to make it the same font as the primary navigation. So I'm just going to go back and click the primary navigation to see what font I chose. So as you can see, it's Poppins 500 and the size is 13 pixels. Perfect. So now I'm just going to click back to the services button. And now I'm going to go to font and then I'm going to change this to Poppins. And then make this 500 and 13. Perfect. And so now you can go down the other options. You can just have an outlined or the raised option or the solid option, which is the one that I like. And then you can also change it to have the corners rounded, you know, or as a pill. I like the square option. And so here, you know, you can change the color of the button as well. You can just, you know, paste your hex code right here, or you can even use these circles right to, to get the, the color that you want. So let's say that we want a blue button, an aqua button. And so here you can also change the text color. And so now one more thing before we finish. So in order to create some space between the primary navigation and the, the secondary navigation, the button, we have to go to the first option right here, element spacing horizontal. And then we're just going to increase this just like that, as you can see by 24. I think that's perfect. And also make sure that the secondary navigation position is just like the primary navigation. So as you can see, top right. That way it's right next to this right here. And so now you're just going to click save. And then let's go back to see the final result. And there you have it. So as you can see, super easy, super quick hack. And we have highlighted the page that we wanted to highlight. So every time a visitor comes, you know, their eyes go straight to the button right here. And so please let me know if you found this helpful or if you have any more questions, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.